to September Sweat Fest. We're going to do every exercise for one minute. Your goal, though, is to perform each exercise for one minute for three rounds. We're going to do one round together, and there's two exercises per day. And there's a lot of modifications, so if you're not sure how to modify, I'll show you some modifications. And also, you can view the tutorial, which I'll have a link below. Thanks. Here we go. So first, our jumping jacks. Next we have skater lunges. So you cross back and you lunge down. Now to modify this, you would just step and lunge, just like that. Or you can, instead of reaching down, you can reach out here. Okay? So. You can take my quicker pace if you want. I'm going slow and controlled so I get into the lunge. And you can certainly do it at a faster pace. Excellent. Okay, on Mondays what you'll be doing are mountain climbers. So you're going to put your hands on the floor or you can put them on something that's elevated. You can always set these for bicycles if that's not, if mountain climbers don't work for you. I'll show you the bicycle as soon as I'm done with the mountain climber. So I'm just driving my knees towards my chest. I want to make sure my shoulders are over my wrists. To modify, you would just do bicycles instead, which are right here, over to me, over to me. Um, you can also do them like this, and that's fine. So the second exercise are ab V roll-ups, which maybe don't sound very cardio producing, but they really are. They're really tough and they use the core. You're gonna roll up and you're gonna bring your legs up. You can modify this with one leg at a time. So here we go. So you're gonna roll up, bring the legs up like this. So you can modify with one leg up at a time if you need to.
excellent. It's Mondays. On Tuesdays, you're going to do Heisman's. Perhaps you're not familiar with Heisman's. You just go in a one, two, three, one, two, three motion to the sides. So we just go one, two, three, one, two, three. People try to make this more complicated. It's really not. If for some reason you're having a lot of trouble doing the movement, you can just shuffle. Just go one, two, three, and then you can help. dips or you kick. So you come to the floor or you go on an object that's got a nice ledge and you dip and you kick up. You can keep that just as simple as this, just like this, kicking up right here, nice and easy. Or you can do it a little more energetically. Make sure your fingertips stay forward. for the first exercise on Wednesdays. So you just kick your butt, basically. And if you need to modify, you would just move like this. And once you're here. What you could do, I'm sorry, what you're going to do is go here and the end. So if you're not doing that, you're going up on your toes here instead of jumping. So just going up on the squat to the calf raise. jumps. So if this your toes are forward and you can just squat instead of jump if you need to.
Then we're going to do print jacks or bicycles. Again, you can modify those bicycles with print jacks that I showed you earlier. Again, you can also elevate your hands on something so that you don't have to be on the ground. And in this case, if you'd like to do jumping jacks, proper regular jumping jacks that we did on Sunday, you can do that. I'm recording something. Dogs are fed. Okay. I'm doing a video. Okay. Do you want to help me here? Uh, I wanted to know where the, the camera was. Oh, it's over okay. here. Oh. Hello. Uh, yes, he's a dog face. It's true. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Mommy, shuffle. Kind of honey, I'm trying to do this, please. Um, look. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay, we're shuffling, and we're just making it. Shuffling. Okay. I'll be right up, okay, honey? Okay. Seriously. Archer, come on. I can't just... The dogs are on the stairs waiting for me. Okay, great. Sorry. I'm almost done, guys. Okay. Real life. It's okay. You guys don't care. I wanted to show you real quick, so I didn't have a chance at the beginning of this. To tell you, if you don't have space, then you just do one kick, kick, okay? Uh, push ups with plank, jack. So we're here, we're gonna do push up, we're gonna do plank jack. Now, obviously, you can go to your knees and knock to the jack or out of the jack, or you can go to the wall. Now, you can always do your push-ups against the wall. You can just put your hands here, do your push-ups here. You can do a few push-ups and a few jacks if you want to. Okay, so you can do your push-ups against the wall if you need. Sideways with a tough day, we've got burpees or high knees. I'm going to show you the high knees first and then I'll show you the burpees. So high knees are just going to come up here when you're in this kind of place. And you can easily march it just like that. Burpees can come down, out, in and up, nothing crazy. We don't do hand makers, going all the way to the floor. Be better. This is just as easily a squat thrust. You come down, you jump up, in and up. If you want to make it more interesting, you certainly can. You can also modify like this, down, out, in, up. And you can also put your hands on something. Okay, so just hands on my knees. That kind of a low ceiling, so I'm not really jumping very high here.
Yeah, but I find even more challenging that these are lunch ones. So if you need to modify lunch tips, you're just gonna lunch nice and quick like this. Otherwise, we're gonna do lunch jumps, which again, I find more challenging to be honest than burpees. And just because you tire your legs out, that's all. My legs get very tired. Big Saturday challenge. So we gotta do it. You did it. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any further questions, please comment below or find me at JanaHeath.com, JanaHeathFitness.com or on Facebook. <laughs>